Today, we're going to be tackling a hot topic that's on everybody's mind, which is where to park that cash when you're not using it. With interest rates doing a roller coaster ride, it is crucial to know which high yield savings account to use. So first, let's talk about what's happening with money and banks right now. Now, you might remember in the past couple of years, the Fed have decided to increase interest rates. Now, this is bad for borrowers, but this makes it good for savers. Now, things are changing. Experts think that in 2024, the interest rates for saving money might go down just a little bit. This means that you may earn less interest on your savings. And there's more. The Molly Fuel says that the Federal Reserve, the big group that's in charge of interest rates, might make them even lower in 2024. This could mean that the amount of extra money that you get from savings could be less. And here's something else. Investment bank UBS thinks that these interest rates might start going down in March of 2024, and they could go down by a lot. They are also saying that we might have some tough times in the economy. Also, the Federal Reserve have said that they're going to stop making rates go up for a while. They're thinking about making it cost less to borrow money in 2024. This is part of their big plan of how money works in our country. So what does this mean for us who want to save money? Well, things are just changing on how much extra money we can make in our savings. But don't worry. I've looked around for the best places of where you can save your money. Even though interest rate might be getting a little bit lower, it is still a good time to save. Think of it like getting one of the last tickets to a really popular movie. You don't want to miss out. So let's find out which savings account are best for you in 2024. All right, so let's talk about how I handpick these accounts. I use a simple mantra, safety, accessibility, returns, and no fees. Each account on this list is backed by FDIC insurance, because peace of mind is priceless. The thing about these accounts is that accessibility is key. We're talking about nationwide availability, user-friendly platforms, and quick access to your cash. And the cherry on top, competitive returns. We're squeezing out every drop of interest out of these accounts. And let's not forget, minimal to no fees is a must because who likes those pesky charges, right? So kicking off the list with number one, we've got Marcus High Yield Savings Account by Goldman Sachs. As of right now, they are offering an impressive 4.5% interest rate. So what really sets Barkus apart is how they simplified everything. No minimum deposits, no hidden fees, just pure straightforward saving. And here's where it gets really interesting. Marcus understands the value of your time and money. So they offer same day transfers up to a whopping $100,000. That's right, you initiate the transfer and boom, it's moved on the same day. If you're like me, tired of snail pace transfers with other banks, this is a game changer. But there's more. Marcus starts counting your interest from the day that you initiate your transfer, not when it hits your account. So imagine that, your money starts working for you the moment you decide to move it. In a world where every second counts, this feature is a winner. And with their easy to use platform, managing your savings is as smooth as it gets. So sliding to our number two spot will be Ally Bank High Yield Savings Account. This account is all about making your life easier, with no monthly maintenance fees and no minimum balance requirements. It's straightforward, user-friendly, and just pretty much everything you need for a hassle-free savings account. But here's where Ally truly shines. It's innovative savings buckets. This feature is a game changer for goal-oriented savers. Whether you're saving funds for special occasions, a major purchase, or just setting aside money for a rainy day, Ally's buckets let you categorize and track your saving goals within one account. It's like having a dedicated saving spot for each one of your goals. Now, the interest rate is not bad either. Ally offers a competitive 4.35% interest rate, which is on par with most others. So I have been using Ally Bank for years now as my two gold buckets for savings, especially for travel or any other high cost items that need time to save for. So it's much more than a savings account for me. It's an important part of my financial toolkit, helping me separate and manage my savings for specific goals. So for anyone looking for an account that combines particularly with good returns, Ally Bank could be a good choice. So stepping up to number three is CIT Bank with their impressive high yield savings account. As of now, they're boosting a standard interest rate of 5.05%. So let's delve into the nitty gritty and what it takes to tap into this lucrative rate. Opening an account with CIT Bank, it's pretty straightforward. There aren't really any complex requirements. However, if you want to lock in that 5.05% interest rate, there is a little bit of a catch. You need to maintain a balance of at least $5,000. So if you fall below this, your rate drops down to 0.25%. It's a significant difference, so keeping that balance up is key. Plus you will need a minimum of $100 to open an account, which is quite manageable. Now, in terms of features, CIT Bank, they keep it simple. They offer essentials only. The absence of monthly maintenance fees is definitely a plus, letting your savings grow without eating into your gains. So from my perspective, a 5% interest rate 
is a deal too good to pass up, especially given the economic context that we're in. So it's also worth noting that CIT Bank is a division of First Citizens Bank, the financial powerhouse that actually acquired Silicon Valley Bank last year. That move alone speaks volumes about their stability and financial health. So if you are worrying about the security of your funds, rest assured, not only they're FDIC insured, but they're also backed by a bank that's big enough to acquire other banks. So if you have $5,000 or more to maintain, this bank is definitely a top choice for maximizing those savings. Now taking our number four spot, we have Capital One with their high yield savings account. Now Capital One is offering a competitive interest rate at 4.35%. So striking a solid balance between return and accessibility. Opening an account with Capital One is hassle free as it gets. There's no monthly maintenance fees, no minimum balance requirements. They made sure that you're not jumping through a lot of hoops to start saving. It's this simplicity that really sets Capital One apart. But let's talk about what really makes Capital One interesting. While their high yield savings account might seem pretty vanilla at first glance, but it's the broader product offering that catches the eye. Capital One is known for their beginner friendly credit cards like the Savior One and Quicksilver Plus, but they also have their all-star venture travel cards. The ability to pair your savings account with a range of credit card options provides a comprehensive banking experience. It is super convenient to have all of your financial products, credit cards, checkings, and savings under one roof. So my take on it is that Capital One's high yield savings account is a solid middle of the road choice. It may not have all of the bells and whistles, but it offers a respectable interest rate and the advantage of being a part of a larger suite of financial services. It's about straightforward saving with the added benefit of an integrated banking experience. So next up, we have Laurel Road. So this company is relatively new to the banking arena, but they are making ways with their high yield savings account. So currently they are offering an attractive interest rate of 5% which is quite competitive in today's market. So what makes this company stands out is that it's simple and no frills. Opening an account is straightforward. There's no monthly maintenance fees or hidden charges that you have to worry about. But here's where it gets a little bit more interesting. Low Road is not just all about savings, but they made a name for themselves in the student loan refinancing space. So providing tailored solutions for professionals. This could be particularly appealing if you are in the healthcare sector as they offer specialized rates and benefits. So from my perspective, this is a strong contender, especially if you're looking for a bank that understands the needs of professionals and offers more than just a place to park your money. So next up, we have SoFi. Right now, they are offering a high 4.6 APY, which is pretty competitive of what you find in the market. There's no account fees, no minimums, and they got FDIC insurance. But here's where things get really interesting with SoFi. They're running a promotion where you can net a bonus between $50 to $300 when you link your direct deposit. Now let's dive into the fine print. So to snag that bonus, you're gonna need to have a qualifying direct deposit within a 25 day evaluation period. We're talking payroll, pension, or government payments directly from employers or agencies. So what is their angle? They want to be your primary banking hub. By incentivizing you with these bonuses, they're nudging you to set up your paycheck direct deposits with them. So the rewards are twofold. You get a cash bonus and you enjoy that juicy 4.6 APY. So let's pull up this table so I can show you what I'm talking about. To get the full $300 bonus, your direct deposit needs to exceed $5,000 in that 25 day window. So for many, this might mean that you're more likely to land that $50 bonus. But hey, 50 bucks is still 50 bucks, especially when it comes with such a high interest rate. Now you would receive this bonus within seven business days after following the 25 day. Now here's a crucial point. If you don't set up direct deposit, the APY drops down to 1.2%. It's still three times the natural average, but it is far away from 4.6%. But what I like about SoFi is that their FDIC insurance is up to $2 million in coverage. They achieved this by sweeping funds into a network of participating banks, ensuring you get extensive FDIC protection under one SoFi account. So in essence, SoFi is aiming to be your all-in-one financial solution, offering you products that cover most of all your needs. Now let's move on to number seven, which will be with Synchrony Bank. So opening an account with Synchrony is super easy. Plus there's no monthly fees. And another good thing is that you don't need to keep a minimal amount in your account, which is great if you're starting to save. Now, the good thing with Synchrony Bank is that they will give you a special ATM card for your savings account. This is a big deal because it lets you to take money easily if you need it. Not many savings accounts actually give you a card. So from what I heard, Synchrony does always have good customer service. Their website and app is pretty easy to use, so you can always check on your money. Now, this bank has been around for a while and they've known to be reliable. They keep their interest rates good and steady, which is why I think a lot of people like to save money with them. Now, let's move on to something a little bit different. 
which is having an account with Moomoo. So Moomoo isn't your typical bank, but they do offer a unique option to saving your money with a cash sweep program. So the standout feature here is that your interest rate could be 5.1%. So what exactly is the cash sweep program? This is a place of where your money is when you're not using it for investments like stocks. This money gets sweeped into partner banks where you can earn an interest up to 5.1%. So helping your savings grow really fast. So opening an account with Moomoo is straightforward and user-friendly. There's really no hidden fees or complex rule. It's just all about the ease and growth. So this program is particularly appealing for those who are really into investing, but also want a secure place to park their cash. So while this is not a traditional savings account, it is a unique way for your money to work hard for you. So this app is ideal for those who are interested in investing and saving. Now let's dive into the scary aspect because I think you may be questioning this. So Moomoo ensures the safety of your funds by partnering with banks that provide FDIC insurance up to a million dollars for swept funds. This means that your money in the cash week program is well protected. But remember, there is some fine print to consider. To earn that impressive 5.1% APY, you will need to meet a certain condition like setting up direct deposits. And if these conditions aren't met, then the interest rate drops down to 0.03%. Plus, until your funds are actually swept into a program bank, they're held into your brokerage account, which is covered by the SPIC. Now, once they are swept, they're eligible for FDIC insurance through program banks. Now, let's keep it moving with our next bank, which will be with Basque Bank. So they are currently offering 5.1% on their high yield savings account, making it one of the most competitive rates available on the market. So this bank has made the process of opening and maintaining an account incredibly straightforward. There are no monthly maintenance fees to worry about and no minimum balance requirement, which is great news for savers of all levels. Now, managing your account with Bass Bank is pretty easy thanks to the user-friendly online platform. So when it comes to the safety of your funds, they also offer FDIC insurance. And that wraps up our deep dive into the top high yield savings account for 2024. Remember, the right savings account can make a big difference on how fast your money grows. So choose wisely. So if you're still undecided or curious about my personal favorites, I've got you covered. Check out the link down in the description or at the end of this video for my top picks. These picks are based on the latest rates and features, perfect for keeping your saving strategy on point for 2024. So before you go, I got another gem for you. Curious about credit cards that show your credit limits before you apply? I've got a video that dives into the top 10 credit cards offering just that. So you can see it over here.